This is Alan Weaver. We're here to talk about a few of the basics in Word. We're going to be talking about working with the hanging indents, first line indents, etc. We're also going to talk about setting margins as well as automatic numbering. First thing that I want to go over are these hanging indents. Sometimes when you're moving the mouse, you can end up with things getting really messy. If you want to work with those indents, you have to have the ruler showing up. If you don't have it showing up, you click over on the far right and you click on View Ruler. Okay. Now let's say I just want this middle paragraph to be indented. I want it to stand out. I go onto the bottom box over here on this ruler here and when we click it and drag it in about an inch now I go over here you get a tooltip when you hold your mouse over it on there but I'll just bring this over about another inch so we see this text here I want it aligned I could click in there that justifies the text so it's even left and right this is left aligned this is centered this is right justified let's justify it okay next thing here you might want to have a first line indent I put my mouse over here I just drag the top in about a half inch it's like a paragraph and when I click here as you could see it becomes that type of an indent next thing if you're going in here sometimes people have a habit of dragging them the wrong way you click and pull this over to the left uh-oh that's the first line now I go and drag the bottom one in it hangs it in there If you go on the box at the bottom it keeps them together so if I go like this even looks worse this could go beyond the margin instead of within the margin outside the margin now if we look at this this is a real wreck here you can see somebody's been a little bit out of control what I want is I want to get everything all perfectly aligned on the left side and the right side even with the margin so it doesn't look like a ransom note so when you go through this thing here you want to select all of the text now when you look up at the rule you'll see that they're a little bit grayed out but if I just click on the right side of the margin here once brings it in now if I click on the left side of the margin at the bottom box it brings that bottom section in but this first line is still out there I bring it in now everything is even I deselect and you can see everything is fully right aligned if I want everything fully left aligned select all go to the left align next thing I want to talk about is the margins if you want to set the margins here Word 2007 is a little bit different uh, we don't have a word called file page setup we go to page layout now I click on margins you get a drop down shows a few things here we go to custom margins now if I want to set the margins here and this one here they're all three quarters of an inch but let's say I want it all one inch you could use these arrows a little pain in the neck all I do is type in a one in the first box press the tab key type a one press the tab key don't worry about typing the quotes tab and then it shows all of them visual preview down here say OK or press the enter key and you could see how the text did move around on the page next thing I want to talk about is automatic numbering very often when you're working with Word uh, like a lot of Microsoft it's a bit of a control freak it thinks it knows what you're doing watch what I'm doing I'm just typing a list here one period space you get this little electric bolt here it means I could shut this off if I don't want it but let's say I want to do it so I'm going to type in Word now I type in Excel now I type in PowerPoint and I type in access the four components in Word that's pretty nice it auto numbers it but now I'm going to go under Word and I want to talk about a couple of features I click after Word and then I'm going to talk about mail merge. Next thing I want to talk about is formatting. Next thing I want to talk about is word art. Okay, but these are subpoints. What I need to do is indent these. I highlight these three lines. Notice when I highlight these three lines, the number is not formatted all I have to do now I click on the home tab 
I increase the indent and see how it goes A, B, C. Pretty cool. And let's say I want PowerPoint above Excel. I click highlight the line. I can literally drag and drop. I've got that there. If I hit the enter after access, it continues numbering. Let's say I don't want the numbering. I hit the enter key again. So it ends the numbering. And if I want everything even with the left margin, further there, I just click here, decrease the indent. So I've got things here. And if I had something here, I had to talk about another, another program, I click after word art. And I'm going to write in Outlook. That is their email program. That should have a number on it. All I do is decrease the indent right there, and it numbers it. End of discussion.